It's Freedom Files with James Burns. Welcome to the Freedom Files podcast for this Friday, January 27th, 2012. I am James Burns. Today is the 55th anniversary of my mother's birth. Happy birthday to my late mother. Unfortunately, she's not here to celebrate her birthday. She passed on quite some time ago, but hopefully she is somewhere else. And regarding last night's CNN Florida Republican debate between Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, Santorum, and Ron Paul, I thought that CNN and Wolf Blitzer did a little bit better job than Brian Williams did with the NBC debate Monday. And last week's debates, of course, the Fox News debate was horrible. And John King's CNN debate last Thursday was only a little bit better than the Fox News or ABC debate. So all in all, I guess CNN was a little bit more fair, but they still gave Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney way more time, but they were a little bit more receptive to including Ron Paul and Rick Santorum. Of course, saying that the CNN debates were better than the Fox News and NBC debate isn't really saying much in my honest opinion. The sad reality is the mainstream media doesn't care about getting the information out to the registered voters who are going to be voting in the primaries and caucuses coming up. They don't really care about that crap. What they care about, two things, ratings and dollar signs. That's all CNN cares about. That's all Fox News, ABC, NBC, CBS, MSNBC, all of them. They only care about those two things, money ratings. They could care less about the information or giving any of the candidates equal time. They give Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich more time because those are the two candidates that the powers that be have picked to be the front runners of the GOP race, even though Ron Paul is, in my opinion, way more popular than those two put together. Sadly, the debates held by the mainstream media have become nothing more than another example of bread and circus in action. It seems to be more like a reality game show than anything else. But if you're in the mood for a real debate and you don't have any qualms about watching a third party debate, you can check out the New York City Libertarian Party 2012 presidential debate. It was sponsored by the Manhattan Libertarian Party, and yes, it doesn't have the same budget as the mainstream media. It doesn't have the nice sets, cameras, lighting, and all that crap, but they put on a way better debate, in my opinion. The candidates included Gary Johnson, Carl Person, R.J. Harris, and Bill Steele. It was recorded and uploaded to YouTube for you to check out by Danny Panzella over at truthsquad.tv. So thank you very much, Danny, for doing that for everybody. It's about 90 minutes in length, and all four Libertarian candidates got equal time, unlike what they do on the mainstream media, to discuss all the issues and topics brought up. A lot of questions were asked by people in the audience, and these four guys were very intelligent and knew exactly what they were talking about when it came to the issues. And I would pick Johnson, Person, Harris, and Bill Steele as a president over Obama, Newt Gingrich, Mitt Romney. And in my honest opinion, all four of them are much better choices for the Libertarian nomination than what we had back in 2008 with Bob Barr, the faux Libertarian neocon. No thanks. In the event that Ron Paul doesn't get the GOP nomination and decides not to run third party, I don't think he's going to, by the way. I think he's just going to say, you know what, I did my best and I'm going back to Texas. It's important for us to start looking at other options for the 2012 presidential race. And there are several third parties that will be on the presidential ballots, including the Green Party, the Constitution Party, and the Libertarian Party. And as a Libertarian who switched to Republican in order to vote for Ron Paul, if he isn't the GOP nominee, I'm going to seriously consider supporting and voting for whoever the Libertarian presidential candidate might be, unless it's Bob Barr again. Won't be fooled again. And to me, it's Ron Paul, third party, or NOTA. None of the above. 
Just say no to the two-party puppet show because the honest truth is if we don't have Ron Paul in the race, it doesn't matter who wins. Obama, Newt Gingrich, Mitt Romney, Santorum, all basically won the same. Bought and paid for. You like the tyranny, you like the police state, you like the out-of-control government and the wars and the debt and the rising unemployment, then vote for one of those four because they represent team tyranny. Ron Paul, Gary Johnson, Bill Steele, Carl Person, R.J. Harris represents Team Liberty. And I'm sure the Green Party and Constitution Party will both also present a decent candidate worth supporting and voting for. And if you're not into the Libertarian Party, I recommend you check out one of those two third parties as well. So there's going to be some options on Election Day for you to vote for. But if you choose Obama, Romney, Gingrich, R. Santorum... All you're really picking is more of the same. And there's no such thing as a winning choice there or a lesser of two evils. It's the two-party puppet show. Most of the Republicans, most of the Democrats are corrupt and bought and paid for. There's a few exceptions, of course, such as Ron Paul and others, but they're in a very small minority, and you see how they're treated by their establishment from their parties as well as the mainstream media. They don't get very much time or attention, and most of the stories that come out about them are negative. They're full of lies and disinformation just to discredit them. We have made the mistake of choosing party over people and principles. we got to get back to focusing on people that are running for office, not just vote for them because they happen to be a Democrat or a Republican. we got to stop making that mistake. I made that mistake in my youth whenever I was a Republican. You know, when I was getting out of high school and my grandfather was a Republican, taught me about conservative values and whatnot. Some of that I still believe in, but I've come to realize that most of that is the platform that's no longer shared by the Republican Party, which is more neoconish, big government warmongers. I had to make the decision to no longer pull the switch for Republicans because not all Republicans are good. The same thing goes for all of you that have voted Democrat all your life, picking the Democratic candidate over everyone else because you believed that the Democratic Party was better when it was just as corrupt and just as evil as the Republican Party. we got to stop making this mistake, and this is an opportunity for us to do that to support a candidate other than the Republican or Democrat establishment choice. Because I firmly believe that no matter how hard we work and push to get Ron Paul the nominee, and I'm going to continue to do so, I maxed out my donations for the Ron Paul campaign. I continue to tell my friends and family about Ron Paul. I continue to do the podcast and now my radio show coming up on Monday, which is returning along with the launch of Ron Paul Radio. That's on January 30th. My show, the Freedom Files Radio Show, will be Monday through Thursday from 9 to 11 p.m. Central. I hope you'll join me. But the point is, no matter how hard we work and push to get Ron Paul the nominee, we also have forces working against us. The GOP establishment, the mainstream media, they are working harder than hell to stop us. And maybe we will prevail. Maybe we will win a couple of these caucuses coming up. I don't think we're going to win Florida. I think that's probably going to go to Romney. But there's a possibility that we could win in Nevada, Minnesota, and a couple other battles along the way. Because it's just beginning, the GOP primary. We have plenty of states to go. What, 47? And unless you go by what Obama says, then it's even more. The point is, we got to be prepared for another option. Don't just go with Romney or Gingrich. It's probably not going to be Gingrich either because they're really railroading him now over uh, some of the things he said about Reagan back in the day. So it's, it's probably going to become Obama versus Romney for the 2012 race. And you don't have to pick either one of them. Those of you who voted for Obama back in 2008 out of hope and change and because you didn't like McCain, I can't blame you for that one, and you saw him as nothing more than a continuation of the Bush presidency, have to realize by now that Obama is Decider 2.0. He picked up exactly where Bush left off. He did. It's the reality of the situation. And if you're angry with Obama, if you feel betrayed by Obama, then don't vote for him. Vote for somebody else. Don't vote for Romney. Vote third party. I don't care if you vote for a Libertarian candidate or the Constitution Party candidate or the Green Party candidate or whatever other party happens to be out there that you like and agree with. Vote for principle. 
vote for the people running. Don't vote for the party. Don't vote for the two-party puppet show because that's just going to get us more of the same. Yes, I know, chances are Obama will probably get reelected or Romney will win. That doesn't matter. What we got to do is start growing the numbers of discontent and disobedience and resistance against the two-party puppet show. And the best way to do that is by voting for the other options out there besides Republican and Democrats. If those numbers start growing, if the Libertarian, Constitution, Green Party, whatever other parties out there, if their numbers start growing on Election Day 2012, if they get way more votes than in the past, then more people are going to take a serious look at another option. And sooner or later, we're going to have a real third party to pick from, a real choice other than the same old song and dance. And if you don't like any of the presidential candidates on the ballot, don't vote. Don't bother showing up. Just say no to the entire thing. No to none of the above. Don't go voting for Obama for another four years. If you voted for him in 2008, I can forgive you for that. But this time around, I can't. Especially all the bullshit he's done since he took the oath of office. So I'm sorry. I'm not going to give you a free pass this time if you choose to once again drink the Obama Kool-Aid. You're just as dumb and just as much of a problem as all the fools that voted for W back in 2004 after he lied about Iraq and the reasons why we went in there. He said it was about weapons of mass destruction and ties to Al-Qaeda. Bunch of bullshit. We've been lied to once again by both parties, the Republicans and the Democrats are both screwing us over. And I realize there's a few exceptions, okay? And if you find a good Republican or Democrat we're voting for, then fine. Support and vote for them, just like with Ron Paul. But most of them suck ass and will sell you out, just like they all have done. And it's time to just say no to the two-party puppet show. So I hope that you will seriously consider voting for a third-party candidate if Ron Paul doesn't get the GOP nomination, or just say no altogether and stay home on November 2012. Don't forget, you can always find us online at freedomfiles.us. From there, you can check out past shows, past interviews, web shows, doc reviews, all that good stuff. And we're also linked up to several social sites, Facebook, YouTube, we got a YouTube channel. Please subscribe to us, Freedom Files US. You can follow me on Twitter, and you can vote in our poll question, how is 2012 going to go down? Log on to freedomfiles.us and cast your vote. Have a great weekend, and I will see you Monday, 9 p.m. Central, on Ron Paul Radio for the return of the Freedom Files radio show.